try. So, um, how are you, Sheikh? I'm fine, alhamdulillah. So, um, Sheikh, my question is, if a person is fasting and more saliva is running in his mouth and if he's talking or reciting Quran, some of his saliva is reaching uh, out of his mouth and lands on his lips. So, will his, will his fasting be broken if he swallowed the saliva that was on his, on his lip? Now, many people ask this question and they give a description that when you imagine it, you feel grossed with it. So as if you're drooling and saliva is coming in rivers and you just go and eat them <laughs> and lick them. This is gross, man. What is this? It's a single tiny drop of your saliva that may come to your lips and you do this and it's gone. So the scholars have different opinion as usual in everything. Some schools of thought say that this has gone outside of your mouth. So uh, licking your lip would be a form of getting something inside which was not inside. So it breaks your um, fasting. Other scholars say that, no, if it's like a thread, like it's very thin, it's very negligible and you lick your lips, it does not impact your fasting. And this is the most logical uh, opinion as there is no clear cut answer to it. But this is not my biggest problem. My biggest problem is with those who have OCD, who overthink. I know people who call me and they say they keep on spitting their saliva. It's in their mouth. They keep on spitting all day long. And you can imagine how dry their mouths are and how uh, bad this is for them uh, physically and medically. But this is their wish was. Achy, there's nothing wrong in swallowing your own saliva. It's inside of your body. When you make wudu and you spit what's in your mouth, wouldn't be there a little residue of the water? What are you going to do? Bring a vacuum cleaner and put it in your mouth to suck everything in it? This is illogical. So such overthinking and exaggeration is ways of shaitan to mess up with your head. So there's nothing wrong and it does not impact your uh, fasting, inshallah.